living in the shoes of Monica Seles was no easy task, especially in the early 90s when she was at the peak of her career. The immensely talented woman from Yugoslavia and later, United States, had to go through a lot in her professional career. The biggest reason why she is here on this list is because of her true sportsman-like spirit which she showed over the years as a player. Celis has nine grand slams in her tally with four wins at the Australian Open, which ties her with several other players like Eva Gulagong and of course, Margaret Court, who has 11 titles to her name, out of which four came in the Open era. Celeste defeated Janin of Otna of Czech Republic in a tight three-set match to win her first Australian Open title in 1991. She came back in 1992 on a high and defended her title ably against Mary Jo Fernandez, seeing her off in a straight sets encounter. Celeste pulled off a hat trick in 1993 when she defeated the equally popular Steffi Groff in a mouth-watering final clash. But this win became fatal for Celeste as it incurred the wrath of an ardent Groff fan, who stabbed her between the shoulder blades during a match in Hamburg a few months later. Forced to take a two-year hiatus, Celeste came back strong and in 1996, she was back at the Australian Open where she won her fourth title as she defeated the German Ank Huber. Number 4 Andre Agassi Andre Agassi was always the talking point on the court due to his flamboyant style of playing and dressing. The man from America is quite the legend of the sport with eight Grand Slams to his name which include four wins at the year opening Grand Slam. The former world number one's third career Grand Slam win came in 1995 when he faced off against longtime rival Pete Sampras in a four-set match at the Australian Open. He surpassed the challenge to claim his first ever slam title in the country down under. After a five-year gap Agassi found himself in the final again, against former world number one Yevgeny Kafelnikov of Russia, who was the defending champion. Agassi went on to defeat Yevgeny and win his second Australian Open title. Going into 2001 as the defending champion, Agassi stayed true to the expectations and warded off Arno Clement in straight sets to win his third title in Melbourne. In 2003, Agassi was pitted against Rainer Schuttler of Germany whose challenge Agassi overcame easily in three sets to win his fourth Australian Open title. Number 3 Novak Djokovic if anybody is a crowd favourite after Roger Federer in Australia, it's definitely Novak Djokovic. The Serb world number one has been there and done it all. He started winning in Australia from 2008, when he defeated Frenchman Joe Wilfred Saga in a four-set final. Fast forward to 2011, and Djokovic was back at it when he defeated longtime rival and friend Andy Murray in straight sets. He returned successfully in 2012 and 2013 to claim victories and defend the title from Rafael Nadal and Murray, respectively. After this marvellous hat-trick of Australian Open titles, Djokovic was still hungry for more and his grit and passion saw him emerge as the winner of the Norman Brooks Challenge Cup in 2015 and 2016, defeating Murray on both occasions. The Serb was in perfect shape and form in the latter half of the year 2018, and is a very good contender for a record seventh title at Australia this year. Number 2 Roger Federer The suave and charismatic Roger Federer has rediscovered his touch ever since the Australian Open proved to be his comeback platform in 2017, when a new version of vintage Federer was unleashed in Rod Laver Arena. The man with 20 grand slams to his name boasts of having won the year opening slam a joint record six times in his career. Australia has always been a special place for Federer and his slam all the more, for it was in January 2004 that he defeated Marasafin to bag his first ever Norman Brooks Challenge Cup, which paved the way to him becoming the world number one for the first time in his career. After the momentous victory, Federer won the slam yet again in 2006, when he defeated a very ambitious Marco Spagditas in a tight four-setter. He ably defended his title in 2007 when he warded off Chilean Fernando Gonzalez and got his third title. 
The fourth one came calling in 2010 when Federer defeated Andy Murray to win his 16th Grand Slam title. After suffering a title drought for a few years, Federer made a fairy tale comeback in 2017 where he clashed against arch rival Rafael Nadal in a dream final. In 2018, he defended his title and won his 20th Grand Slam against Croat Marin Silic. If one thing can be said for sure, it is that Federer would love to register a hat trick of wins at the Australian Open by triumphing again in 2019. Number 1 Serena Williams Serena Williams has been an unstoppable force in the women's circuit since a long, long time. With 23 glorious Grand Slams in her name, Serena's contribution and achievements in the sport are one too many, and she occupies a large section of the records book. Serena is the only player in the Open era to have won the year opening slam a record seven times in her career. It all started in 2003 when a young Serena locked horns against her big sister Venus Williams in the finals, only to overpower her and win her first Australian Open title. In 2005, Serena went up against former world number one Lindsay Davenport in the final, in a match that saw her lay claim to her second Melbourne crown. 2007 proved to be a good start to the year too when an unseated Williams defeated Maria Sharapova in the final to win a third title here. In 2009, she was faced with former world number one Dana Ura Safina who she dusted off in under an hour to win her fourth Australian Open. In 2010, Williams defended her title with conviction when she won against Justin Hennin and took home her fifth Australian Open trophy. Serena's 19th Grand Slam win coincided with her sixth title win in Australia when she gave Maria Sharapova a hard time and won the final in straight sets. 2017 was perhaps the most special victory of all for Serena. The powerhouse player went up against her sister Venus in another mouth-watering clash and claimed the seventh title without even dropping a set in the tournament. The special factor was the fact that Williams was a little over eight weeks pregnant when she played in Australia. The grit and strength as well as passion of Williams make her a joy to watch on the court, and we know she will give it her all to win for an eighth time in Melbourne this year.